Right, today is the 7th of July and right in the middle of summer, these deshojos have not turned green. Some of them are turning green, so they all vary slightly. That is beginning to turn green, but this has kept the red for quite a while. What I want to talk about now is what are some of the problems you could get with the deshojos. There are usually problems in summer from it being too hot. This year in the UK and in the south of England, we've had temperatures on one day it went to about 31 or 33 degrees centigrade about two weeks ago. And right through the summer, I think for the past 12 weeks during the lockdown, we've only had like three or four days of proper rain. So the trees have suffered considerably. So the first problem you would get with uh, maples is the leaves drying out. So this one, these brown leaves have dried out because we may not have been able to get at all the plants at the correct time. So the water was not able to be pumped up to the very top of the leaves. So these have dried out. So don't worry when you get that, you just cut the leaves off and you will get new leaves again. So not many of them, if we bring the camera near, if you look at this, most of them seem all right, but just the old trees have had their leaves burnt a little bit. And the other common problem you get with maples, not just the deshojo, but I'm looking at deshojos, is mildew. Now, mildew happens. Let me explain to you what mildew is. Now, if you home in closely, you will see that these leaves have got like a white lime scale appearance to it and that is a fungus we call it mildew and it is the same mildew that you get on roses uh, many of the rosaceae's a uh, lot of plants suffer from mildew in the summer and what causes mildew is that the spores from the uh, fungus lie dormant and they spread and although we've had a very hot summer while we are watering, the dampness and the damp air causes the mildew to flourish and therefore you get mildew. A lot of people are concerned about it, but it does not kill the plant. It only makes the plant look unsightly. So just as you would get mildew on your roses and you spray it with uh, any uh, fungicide that deals with mildew, in the same way, if you spray your maples with a fungicide it will get rid of the mildew but better still you can see what Steve has been doing here he's pruned some of the leaves off and you can just do a leaf prune we will just show you separately another exercise on leaf pruning so uh, I will show you that but looking at this pile of leaves that we burnt here I will show you another problem if you look closely here these little white things are insects and insects fly in the air. It's no good blaming the nursery or blaming yourself. When insects fly in the air, you cannot help it. And that's why insecticides are manufactured and uh, insecticides are used on plants to control it. It's very hard to control it manually. You see these uh, woolly aphids or whatever you call it, they spread and they can suck the sap from the leaves so you got to kill it you can rub it off with a piece of tissue paper but what we do we try and burn these little bits or compost it and the heat of the compost can destroy it so these are the three common problems you can get with maples now bear with me we will show you how to leaf prune some of the trees I'm getting Steve to do some leaf pruning and leaf pruning literally means pruning all the leaves off and we're pruning it off at the petiole. So what do I mean by petiole? If I just get a leaf that we, Steve is going to prune. So we prune there at the stalk like that. And we just leave the end of the stalk on the tree. And that will fall off in time. Usually when you do leaf pruning, it's no good pruning half the tree. If you prune half the tree, the leaves that remain will continue to grow and the leaves that you've pruned may not come back so easily. So when you do a leaf pruning, it's better to prune all the leaves off. 
just a word of warning with leaf pruning don't prune trees that are weak now although this tree has a little bit of mildew it is a very strong tree all the leaves are turgid and looking uh, very uh, full and flush there's no sign of the uh, ap apart from the mildew there are no other signs of distress on the tree so only on strong trees you do leaf pruning uh, many people do leaf pruning in the hope that they get a crop of smaller leaves but in my experience when you leaf prune a maple very often the second crop of leaves can be larger than the first crop of leaves so don't expect the leaves to get small usually leaf pruning is done to produce a crop of leaves which are fresher and they look cleaner and more uh, I would say uh, bright and fresh so we don't leave prune to get smaller leaves we prune it to get a fresher looking crop of new leaves sometimes if you are going to a show and want to enter a tree for a competition and you want the trees to have new leaves at the time of the show you can prune it or leave prune it in such a way that you get new leaves just for the show i remember that when we used to do chelsea flower show we used to force the maples into leaf very early in the spring in greenhouses and then we cut off all the new leaves immediately so that we get a second crop of leaves which are fresh looking just for chelsea so that's what steve has done we've pruned every single leaf off so that is leaf pruning there you go and the new leaves we expect to come in about three to four weeks time and because we are now in uh, early July I would say by early August it will be completely uh, flush with its new leaves so there you go